Okay, this is Bruce at Bookmap, and we'll go through the live order flow uh, using Bookmap. We'll start off with the risk disclaimer. Uh, trading uh, equities and futures involves substantial risk of loss. It is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not indicative of future results. Uh, for more information, go to bookmap.com and become a member there. There's uh, a lot of free resources. A lot of those free resources are in the handouts folder there uh, for GoToWebinar. And uh, so you can check there. And then uh, we do have a new support email. I mean, you can still reach us at the Veloxpro, support at veloxpro.com, but uh, it's now support at bookmap.com. Okay. Uh, let me show you some of the uh, resources in the, in the website here. Okay. Uh, and our social media. Okay, so a bookmap.com, uh, this is where you can uh, register for the free webinars. Now, once you register for the week, uh, or once you're registered for the week, right? And uh, tomorrow after Friday's webinar, uh, I'll, you know, have a new link for you. Uh, so, um, uh, you know, usually uh, immediately after, with give me about uh, 15 minutes or so, and uh, we'll have a new link there if you guys want to register. All right. Uh, if you're interested in Bookmap uh, and uh, you want to give it a try, we offer a free uh, trial uh, period of 14 days. This is where you can find it under the pricing tab at bookmap.com. And um, uh, we also have now stocks. So uh, that's with the DX feed. So I've been covering this. Um, I think you guys have uh, uh, understood pretty well what's going on. Uh, but uh, uh, it was a little confusing there for a lot of, uh, a lot of users. Um, there is book map and then there is DX feed, all right? And the DX feed is how you're going to access the equities for book map, all right? Now, you will need book map 6.1 beta version for that, all right? Uh, and, um, uh, but um, uh, book map is a separate thing, all right? Now, we bundled it together here uh, just um, uh, for uh, book map basic and advanced, but, uh, uh, you know, we, we'll, I'm going to separate them out here just... Uh, orally and uh, say there's just book map and then there's DX feed. Uh, with book map, there's two different versions. There's the basic and the advanced, right? You get a 14 day trial period with them. Uh, and um, the difference between the two are the um, uh, add-on uh, indicators and the ability to trade from the chart. Okay, if you want d the DX feed with book map basic or advanced as well, you can get it. You don't need to get the package deal here. Okay, you'll just log into Bookmap uh, here, uh, and then uh, once you logged in, then um, in the portal area here, uh, you can click on up, uh, updates and, and add-ons here, uh, and then uh, you'll see the DX feed. Now, with the DX feed, a, a little bit of uh, uh, information there, um, and this is out of our control. We'd, we've just partnered with DX feed. That, that's all. Um, uh, but uh, once uh, you, you get a 14-day trial period with DX feed, but it is delayed data. All right. So if you don't want delayed data, you'll need to pay for it uh, up front. And uh, it's uh, $59. Um, the, um, and, and it begins every calendar month. Okay. So uh, if you get it now, uh, you know, today's uh, the 15th of June. So you, you'll only get it for, you'll pay $59, but you're only going to get it for 15 days, okay? Uh, and then uh, you'll be, uh, uh, if you want a, uh, the recurring subscription, uh, you'll have to purchase it again on July 1st, okay? So that's that. Uh, education tab, this is where you can find the uh, video snippets that we go through or just the market phenomena in, in these concise videos. Uh, and, um, and then the bookmap webinars are all recorded here. Uh, you can click on the link here. It, both links there will take you to the YouTube page and uh, our YouTube page here. Uh, let me, I can show you the, um, uh, yeah, the home here. So this is this is where you'll come in, right? Uh, and then the playlist, the pl the playlists here. Uh, click on that, uh, and then you can see recorded webinars here. Click on that, and then they're all lined up here. Ah, they're all private. Uh, don't know why. Uh, okay, interesting. Uh, let me um, make a note of that. That is something's going on here. Okay. Uh, anyway, you can see uh, yesterday's uh, here, uh, but um, uh, let's go back to the playlist. 
Uh, and then the, there's features and components. If you're new to Bookmap, um, you can uh, review a lot of these uh, features and components like the correlation tracker, the 6.0 overview, um, you know, activating uh, trading strategies, et cetera, right? Now, we're going to go over the replay mode uh, at the end of the webinar today, uh, and I'm going to show you how to get up and running with that, uh, and then uh, also the practical uses of it. Uh, there are some videos here, okay? There's the replay data mode video here, uh, and then there's the replay data mode and the practical uses here. So uh, I'm just going to go over and if you guys have any questions uh, regarding this uh, and how to, uh, how to use it. Um, so, um, yeah, uh, yeah, Judy, hope to answer your questions there uh, regarding that. Um, but uh, the replay mode is, it's good to um, uh, get into it uh, and cover it every now and then uh, because uh, we're going to go through our, our process here uh, for Bookmap. Uh, we do this every day uh, and read the order flow, but the, the quickest way for you guys to integrate this into your trading uh, is um, uh, we believe it's to watch these, um, uh, well, hold on here, let me, okay, uh, to watch those video snippets that I just showed you uh, on the uh, YouTube page, the order flow um, uh, video snippets, uh, and then to use this replay mode, because if you can continue to re repeat that process, uh, then um, you're going to you're going to learn at a heightened rate and the reason being uh, is that uh, the replay mode uh, you can speed up the markets uh, so instead of seeing like one or two different instances of that market phenomena uh, in real time uh, you're going to see like 10 or 12 of them uh, in this sped up uh, replay mode you're going to be able to uh, digest that information and apply it quicker to your trading uh, using that uh, that method Okay, uh, let me show you where those um, uh, videos are. Uh, order flow video snippets, here's the playlist. Uh, click on that and um, uh, watch as many of these as you can. Start from the top and, and work your way down, right? Uh, really good stuff here. They're very short. As you can see, this one's actually probably one of the longest, uh, close to five minutes. Most of them are about two or three minutes, okay? All right, guys, well, let's, uh, let's jump in and take a look at the order flow then. Um, and um, jump back here okay uh, not sure what market to look at um, we've had uh, you know we had the, the Fed yesterday uh, and uh, a lot of different uh, fundamental data uh, it's always the uh, you know first couple weeks uh, of the uh, of the month anyway uh, but um, uh, let's look at some higher time frames okay regardless of your trading methodology we need to look at some higher time frames just to get some structure uh, to what's going on uh, in the uh, in the bigger picture, so you might be using um, very different trading methodologies on your higher time frames. That's okay. Whatever it is, uh, you know, look at it, uh, and then we're going to drill down into the microstructure uh, in Bookmap, uh, and then the then we're going to look at the order flow. Okay, so it's a drilling down process here, and we're going to very objectively go through the the. Uh, uh, order flow in uh, in Bookmap. Now, you scalpers out there, uh, you'll probably be looking at probably just microstructure and order flow, uh, but um, and you can do that. But uh, most of the traders, uh, they're looking at their levels in their higher time frames, uh, and then and then looking at uh, uh, the order flow. All right. Okay. So uh, let's uh, let's do that. Let's take a look here. All right. Okay, oil, we had the uh, inventories yesterday and, the, and we see the big sell-off here. Uh, let's take a look at the ES, all right? So, so um, uh, we had the uh, FOMC uh, yesterday and uh, we see the sell-off here, okay? The raising rate environment. Uh, we've had some, uh, 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 you know, interesting data uh, here this, this week as well. Uh, and, uh, and we're all at all-time all highs here, or we were uh, just a few days ago. Uh, so uh, uh, we can see here on the daily chart uh, and, um, uh, you know, maybe uh, uh, traders start to shift away from uh, a bullish uh, stance here. Uh, but uh, we'll, we'll take a look, uh, you know, with the, with the Fed being more aggressive. Uh, but um, uh, we're just going to outline some, some uh, areas here in the higher time frames. Very simple stuff. And then we're going to look at the microstructure and book map uh, and then the order flow. Okay, so our 30-minute chart 
Uh, we can take a look here. We can see the sell-off uh, that was yesterday after the FOMC. We see continuation in the uh, overnight session. Uh, and then we're seeing a bit of a bounce here uh, today. So uh, at least uh, uh, back up into some of these areas where it dropped from in the overnight session. Uh, I am interested in this area right here because this was the swing low of the cash session yesterday. Uh, and uh, that's at uh, uh, 25 and three quarters, it looks like. Okay, and, uh, and we can see a little bit of um, uh, sideways action here, and then uh, we see some sellers starting to jump in uh, in, uh, in this half hour chart. Okay, so that, that's, uh, that's good for now. Uh, we've got this 25 uh, and three quarters. Uh, we've also got this uh, 24 and, or 24, 17 and a half uh, area. Uh, we can look at some of the lows, maybe 26, uh, 24, 16, uh, and let me uh, let me zoom in here. Okay, yeah, that looks good for now. Uh, let's take a look at a five-minute chart and just get a, a little more feel for what's going on. Zoom out. Not much, not much at all. Uh, you know, potentially here. Uh, you know, this is where we kind of uh, uh, rejected out of, came back and retested, and then we see the extension here. Okay. Also here, potentially, because uh, we broke out of that little uh, consolidation range here. Uh, and uh, maybe we'll get a pullback into that area. And you can see we've been testing the highs again here. And sellers, sellers are still here. Right? We see the uh, red candle there. Okay. Enough on the uh, higher time frames. Let's jump into book map. Uh, and we want to look at uh, the um, microstructure now uh, in book map. Okay, and uh, I'll explain what I mean by the microstructure. All right, so here's our 930 open. Okay, we see the move to the upside, and it's just been banging back and forth. Uh, but um, uh, here's our, our uh, uh, 2416 low. Uh, here's our high at 25, and uh, we can see that uh, uh, real nice uh, move to the upside here. Uh, and then uh, complete sell-off, complete um, uh, move to the downside here. Uh, but I'm not really seeing any sort of uh, bias or direction in this uh, yet. Uh, I, I do see cluster down here uh, trading, but we did break the high. So I'm uh, just looking at the, the basic structure here, uh, trying to piece some things together. Uh, what I am interested in, what does pop out in my mind here uh, in this structure uh, is this area right here. Uh, this is where we broke this swing high, and we can see a nice cluster of volume uh, and acceptance above this area here, okay? At, um, at uh, 24, 21 and, uh, and a quarter or a half, somewhere, somewhere around there, all right? Okay, so now let's, uh, and, and we can also put in, uh, you know, our swing high here at 25. All right, so uh, let's take a look now at the order flow uh, and start what's going on. Okay, just a minute here. I'm gonna take the, uh, I'm gonna turn off my cumulative volume delta for now. All right, okay. So we can just look at this order flow. Um, all right, uh, let me go back to the presentation. Okay, so we'll move on to the next slide here. And uh, let's, uh, let's, now we're gonna, we're gonna, we, sorry, we looked at our higher time frames. We just looked at the microstructure. And now we're very objectively gonna drill down and look at the order flow uh, in book map. And uh, that's where we can, you know, really pinpoint entries, exits, uh, and trade management and uh, opportunities, looking for uh, an opportunity here. Uh, that's uh, what we're what we're really uh, searching for. So, the next slide, we're showing up to the auction. It is an auction process here, uh, and um, uh, we want to identify first the larger players in this auction. Where are they? Right, and we we can do that very easily in Bookmap uh, by looking at um, the limit order book. Right, uh, look at them here, wanting to sell at 25. Okay, and there's, we already know from our microstructure or a uh, little more macro, but, uh, you know, kind of uh, mid 
structure that this was the swing here. So this is going to be an important area anyway. Uh, where are they on the bid? Well, they're down here at this uh, this level here that we've already identified as being important as well. Okay, and uh, now uh, we're going to answer that second question right on cue. So let me uh, jump back here. Okay, now we want to understand where are how these participants, the majority of these participants, are behaving in that auction. All right, uh, this is going to be uh, essential. Uh, to understanding how, how this auction is going. Right. And then we're going to look at the tape here at the end. But uh, uh, let's, uh, let's answer this second question. Okay. Well, you can see that uh, these guys here at 25, look at their behavior. Okay. They, they pulled their liquidity here. Okay. They, they, uh, as soon as price came up toward them, they, they pulled the majority of their liquidity. Of course, there's still liquidity here. But uh, Bookmap is outlining uh, the majority of them. Okay, so we have an overall feeling of what's going on here. And now they're jumping back in the book. But how, how are they doing that? Okay, as price moves away. Right? So we can, we can uh, start to uh, understand their behavior and their desire or intent to trade at this level of 25. Uh, and they don't look so intent to trade, okay, these sellers. All right. And um, that's just one... Uh, one price level here. Uh, it's an important one, but uh, we want to understand some of the other areas around it as well. Okay, so uh, let's answer that question, get an overall feeling. Uh, and, uh, you know, in fact, I'm going to take off the traded volume uh, just so, so this is a little bit clearer. Okay, we want an overall feeling of the area here, okay, of the behavior of these traders uh, on, the, uh, on the offer. Okay. They started to get interested here in these areas here, right? They also started to pull. We, we saw some, some pretty big transactions, uh, but uh, we'll, we'll cover that in a second. But uh, we can see that the, they're pulling as well. Uh, and uh, look at this behavior uh, up a little bit further. Okay. They're, uh, they're adding into the book, uh, maybe pulling liquidity from these areas and adding uh, at higher areas. Okay. That's showing pretty bearish. Um, I'm sorry, bullish behavior in a sense. Uh, they, they're, uh, they're pulling from these areas to higher area. They don't want to be seller here uh, aggressively. They want to be a seller uh, a little bit higher. All right. So now, now we're getting a feel for uh, the sellers up here uh, and uh, the, the way that they're behaving. All right. So uh, maybe we'll, uh, uh, you know, we'll see the, uh, this trend continue. Uh, maybe we'll see a breakout of our 24, 25, okay? So now let's add into the process, the volume, okay? The tape, uh, and uh, what is that telling us? Okay, well, uh, I can see that um, uh, there are, uh, we wanna, and we wanna look for the majority of them, right? So here's, here's the trend up that we can see, uh, and, um, uh, where, where, are the, where are these uh, uh, clusters of, of activity uh, transactions taking place? Okay, well we can see here a lot at a higher high, uh, also here, uh, and then uh, here's our breakout to the upside now. Okay, uh, now you know th this is it's just beautiful stuff to see this. Um, uh, you know, we, we were just covering this without even looking at the transactions and starting to anticipate this kind of behavior here, right? Just based on the uh, on the auction, right? Uh, and we're at a higher time frame level as well. Okay. Now we might reject out of that area, but we're we'll we'll read it. You know, we'll see. Um, but uh, we can see so far uh, that um, uh, you know we've broken out of that area. I'm looking for a return back to where we broke from here, and let's see if the buyers step in right here again at 25, maybe a tick or two lower, maybe a 24.75. Okay, and then let's see if the buyers continue to lift the offer up into these areas here. Okay, now this this process uh, it, it it's um it's dynamic, right? We we've seen it many times over. Uh, that um, uh, you know this this auction may shift dramatically. Okay, uh, we can see that uh, they're getting pretty aggressive up here. 
right? Look at look at how they're adding into the book up up in these areas here, right? Uh, so and and they were up here at, at uh, 27. It looks like they pulled and maybe added down here at 26 and a half. Okay. Now it doesn't mean the aggressive buyers can't trade through these areas. Uh, you know, it'll be a battle uh, between the two. But we can see that the, the majority of these participants here, uh, now they're getting aggressive. They want to be sellers at these areas here because price is coming up and they're, you know, uh, these guys pulled at 26 again. Uh, but uh, the uh, they're adding in here uh, at um, uh, 26 and a quarter, 26 and a half, uh, and 27. Okay. And we're, we're starting to note that uh, that's kind of turned off the aggressive buyers here. Okay. Now, it's possible uh, a, a potential scenario here to unfold uh, is um, uh, for the, uh, the aggressive uh, sellers uh, to, uh, to take charge here uh, if they want. And we'll, we'll, we'll read the order flow. Okay? Uh, right now, I mean, look at, the, at, this, at this 26 level. Okay? We broke out of 25. We only broke out a point higher, so four ticks higher. Okay? And we look at the aggressive buyers up here at 26. Okay, 393 contracts traded. Okay, they're not so keen on the, the aggressive. Now we're reading the behavior of the aggressive buyers. In fact, the, look at look at down here where we see a lot of red. Okay, aggressive sellers jumping in here. Okay, so we may get this nice shift here in the order flow. I'd be looking at uh, them targeting down here at 23, maybe 23 and a half now. All right. Okay, so at the moment, that, that looks like a nice picture. Uh, and uh, we're just uh, putting these pieces together. Now, that may change. Uh, we may see them get very um, uh, aggressive here. Uh, they may uh, uh, be buy want to be buyers with their limits uh, limit orders at a higher area here. Uh, and maybe they'll, uh, you know, uh, lift the offer with the, maybe we'll find more aggressive, uh, aggressive buyers here. Okay, and charge right up into this high liquidity. Okay, but that uh, we haven't seen that yet. Okay. Okay, we're getting some some aggressive buyers. Now let's see if those sellers show up again. Right, this is where they were showing up again. Right, right around this area here. Okay, right where we are. So. You know, th this this starts to get into. Um, uh, it, we're reading the order flow here. Uh, now, if you're if you're bearish on the market, then this is your opportunity. Okay. If you're bullish, well, maybe you'd want to look for a pullback uh, into where we broke from, and uh, maybe that would be uh, yeah, right right around 25, uh, or maybe maybe uh, maybe maybe the breakout actually kind of kind of took took place right here. Uh, at this 24 and a half, as we can see it, you know, the pretty strong move that took place. And maybe that's where we'll find buyers again. Okay. Okay. So we've, we found the sellers yet again. Okay. Now it's up to the, to see if we can get those buyers back. All right. Any questions on this? Any questions of, of reading these transactions uh, and uh, and understanding the uh, the order flow? Okay, understanding the auction, the behavior uh, of the traders on the auction. Okay, this is a little uh, giving me. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna adjust my um, uh, black uh, cutoff here uh, for the heat map, uh, and it's gonna give me a little more insight. All right. Okay, so yeah, pretty big, pretty big wall, wall of liquidity here, right? Uh, between 26 and 27, as we can see. Okay, now they're showing some interest down here, and this is the area we were initially looking for a target uh, down around 23. And uh, look at the algorithmic activity that just took place, uh, right here. Okay, bookmap. Uh, you know, we, we record all all of this limit order book uh, information. So in the dome here, as soon as those guys jumped into the book, it's been recorded now, uh, and we can look right at it. 
And this is what, what occurred. Okay, I'm sorry. Let me just uh, zoom out a little bit. Zoom into this area. Okay. Uh, and, uh, and we can see, um, you know, they, uh, they jumped in. Uh, and, and we can see one algo reading from the other, uh, basically. Uh, and um, uh, they're providing liquidity down at, uh, you know, one, one level below the next here. Uh, basically, so uh, uh, layering up uh, uh, some uh, limit orders uh, at around this 23 figure. Okay, here's some aggression coming in here at uh, 24 and a half. Okay, and they uh, they start to pull that right at the last second. All right, now we bring that cutoff, black cutoff, back up. Now, bringing that black cutoff allows me to uh, understand the configuration of that book very quickly. Okay, you can also you can click on the uh, automatic uh, contrast configurations here, uh, and then um, uh, you can play with the black cutoff here, uh, the white cutoff as well, uh, and um, uh, we ha also have a filter here for larger size of liquidity, uh, and then also the brightness. Okay, so you know it's up to you. Uh, you know, a lot of traders like a view something like this. Uh, you know, uh, and they just want to, they just want to read that very, very high liquidity. Uh, and that's about it. Okay. For me, that's a little too extreme. Uh, I like to see a little more algorithmic activity, like these guys all jumping in here basically at the same time. Okay. That looks pretty good for me. All right. Okay, so another another um, uh, piece here to uh, add in as a confluence uh, are the bookmap add-ons. Okay, getting some insight from these add-ons, uh, and uh, you can see these numbers here uh, on my screen. Uh, these green numbers and red numbers here. Um, these are icebergs. Uh, it's our iceberg detector, uh, and it's showing you uh, where um, uh, icebergs are potentially getting filled here. Okay, all right, the aggressive buyers charged through that area there, right? Okay, took, they took all that liquidity. Let's, uh, let's zoom into that area here. Okay, it looks like uh, actually a lot of it pulled at the last, last moment. Okay, but we do get, yeah, yeah, a lot of it just pulled at the last, very last moment. But uh, look at that... Um, uh, move to the upside here. Now, uh, that's uh, that could be stops being triggered. Uh, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. They're aggressive buyers. Okay, uh, but uh, now we can zoom out and get a get a feel for uh, you know do they uh, uh, do these aggressive buyers that they want to continue on to the upside uh, or not? Okay, are we going to accept above in this area here, or are we going to reject down uh, and then? Uh, uh, come back down into those uh, areas here that we were looking at uh, at 23 uh, previously. Okay, uh, so what I was going over with the um, icebergs uh, and trying to get an understanding of the majority of these icebergs, you can see there are many, right? Uh, but, but we want to add this in as a confluence in our areas and in our zones. So our breakout of the uh, 25 area, okay, uh, in the end, was this sustained or, or um, uh, did, it, did it reject? And so far, it, not only was it sustained, uh, we, we got a further continuation of a breakout uh, to the upside here. All right. So uh, in fact, uh, and we did note it, um, this area here, actually, I was looking for 25 as the... Uh, uh, you know, sustaining above that, but uh, then I kind of um, uh, corrected and then uh, looked down here at potentially the uh, the 24 uh, and a half area, and the reason being uh, is that's really where that uh, that breakout uh, occurred. Okay, was well, uh, right in this area here. Okay. All right. Okay, 
And uh, still looking pretty strong here, to be honest, because we have not come back to test where we broke from here. So I'm looking for that continuation, to be honest, uh, to the upside. All right. So uh, let me draw on that line here. Okay. This is where we broke from here. Okay. That's where they really, uh, uh, you know, uh, lifted the offer pretty, pretty aggressively. All right. And look, look where we didn't even get a test back down to that area. Right. That's why I, I'm looking for that continuation to the upside. All right. This is pretty bullish behavior here in this structure. I mean, we can see there's a lot of selling, there's a lot of buying back and forth, but uh, it remained like in a like a two or three tick uh, range at a higher level here than where we broke from. Okay, and we didn't even get a retest back uh, to this area. All right. Okay, we can even look at more microstructure here. Uh, and if you're really bullish, then this is where maybe uh, you'd be looking because this is you can see the aggressive buying as they uh, uh, lifted the offer here uh, up into this area. All right? Will the buyer show up here again at uh, at 27 and a quarter? Okay, and so far, yes, uh, they have. All right. Okay. Anyway, uh, any any questions on this? Um, and uh, let's see, Brian, you want to go over the uh, columns? Uh, absolutely. Uh, no, no, no problem there. Uh, let's take a look. Ah, okay, uh, Judy. I, yeah, I can answer your question here very quickly. Um, Many of you guys uh, know uh, Futures Trader 71, uh, Morad, uh, and um, uh, he um, uh, talks about uh, zippers, okay? And what, what exactly is a zipper? Well, a zipper would be something like this here, okay? This, this uh, consolidation, areas of consolidation. Uh, here I can uh, outline line it here. Um, here, this would be a zipper, okay? This would be a zipper. Right. Uh, what else? Um, uh, yeah, th this could be a zipper here. Right. So, you know, you're looking for these are areas where there was um, uh, consolidation and we saw the move to the upside. Uh, and then uh, we're looking for uh, return back to those areas, uh, just like we were um, in, uh, in in my my um, uh, outlook here was even more aggressive. It wasn't. Uh, uh, look, he's looking for even, uh, you know, he, he's looking at volume profiles here, uh, and you're going to see, like, you know, you can see the high volume node here uh, in this. Uh, oh, this leads nicely into uh, your question, Brian. Um, uh, in the chart range, this is the chart range volume profile. Okay, it's showing the volume profile for this chart range. Okay, um, and um, uh, the um, uh, this consolidation here, uh, we can see our our high. Um, high no, uh, volume node here, okay? And we also have a VWAP, which is this white line, okay? You can just right click in this column uh, and uh, you can see it's chart range uh, accumulated and, um, and volume. Uh, you can also format this column uh, and then you can see like the VWAP here if you don't wanna see that white line. Uh, you can show just the ask volume or the bid volume, uh, whatever it is. Uh, you can show it as bars, numbers, and, you know, et cetera. Um, <laughs> you can split it out too. This is a great feature, okay? For those of you looking uh, at the aggressive volume and comparing it, uh, this is a great feature, all right? Uh, and um, and we, we'll cover this in more detail in the future, but um, uh, we're looking at the aggressors uh, and how are they uh, behaving here. Uh, and um, splitting this volume out is a, a real nice, uh, nice feature here. Okay. But if you want to look at the profile, then don't split it out. Okay. Look at our low volume node here, which is very close, a one tick away from our area of breaking out. So we want to see if the buyers start to step in here uh, and we and support price in this higher area. All right. So that uh, knocks off the uh, the zipper uh, question. Uh, the uh, uh, 
uh, CVP question. Uh, Brian, let me know uh, if you have any more questions. SVP, let's get into that. Okay, so if I right click in this column, uh, you can see that uh, I have it as, it's a volume column as well, okay? But uh, you can see it's session accumulated. What that means is it's the all of the volume here that I've accumulated since I opened my book map and started collecting data, all right? Now you can reset these uh, in uh, all sorts of ways. You can right click here, uh, you can choose reset, you can reset it now, uh, and uh, you know it'll start from scratch, right? Uh, that uh, maybe you don't want to do that with your SVP column. Uh, you know we can get that data back, um, no problem. Uh, but um, the um, uh, so you can you can reset it uh, and then uh, uh, start to understand the aggressors again, uh, who's winning the battle, all right? Uh, or um, uh, you can also have it uh, reset here uh, for very specific times, or or you know reset on a double click as well for you very aggressive traders. So you can schedule resets. Okay. So uh, every I have it set for like uh, every uh, or at a time. Let's choose at a time. Okay, at 9:30. Uh, Eastern time for me, right, if I want to do that, uh, and then um, uh, then I will have a nice volume profile here uh, from uh, 9:30 uh, moving forward. Okay, you will need to open up Bookmap before 9:30 though, uh, and then um, uh, have it. Uh, you can schedule that reset, right? Okay, or you can do it for a specific uh, period of time here. Right, if you want it uh, in a certain number of minutes, seconds, or hours. Okay. Now there's a new feature in 6.0, which is the conditional reset, and um, this is for more aggressive traders. Uh, you know, looking at that aggressive volume as well. Um, they're looking at a small range, and then if price goes out of that range but trades right back into it, uh, it will not reset. If price goes out of that small range uh, and then accepts for a number of milliseconds, uh, then uh, it will reset. Okay, uh, so uh, so you'll get the most current um, uh, volume uh, cluster or profile that you're looking at. All right. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Hope that answer, answers your question, Brian. Uh, please let me know. Okay, good. Uh, let's see here, John. Um, can you show the difference between bid and ask uh, in the columns and delta columns? Okay, bid and ask in what uh, exactly in the in the current order book? Sure. I mean, if that's your question. Um, so here's our current order book. Ah, in fact, I, I want to cover something here. Something really nice uh, now. Uh, this is with a rhythmic feed. Uh, is how I'm accessing the markets. Um, look, look at, look at the book here. Uh, there's, there's, there's no limit on the depth. Th this is, this is all live. This whole entire book is live. Uh, beforehand it was, uh, you know, we had a white line, uh, that would, uh, signify, uh, the, uh, the lit book areas outside of it was historical. We didn't know that data, but now, uh, I'm looking at the entire book here. Okay. Real nice new feature. Uh, now I know Rhythmic offers it. This is bought by the data feed. Um, you know I know CQG offers it for the NYMEX uh, for oil and for for gold, for example. Uh, but um, uh, anyway, um, uh, you know, just want to uh, to cover that. Uh, and let me quickly uh, note here: look at the liquidity coming in at 25 and 20, up to 25 and three quarters. All right. So uh, they want to be buyers up here now. Okay, so Judy, there's your zipper, uh, and there's what Bookmap is showing you. There's some support here to lean on. All right. Okay, uh, and it's almost perfectly in line with uh, you know the zone that we uh, um, had uh, outlined here. Okay. All right. So John, your question. All right. Well, uh, the bid and the offer. Uh, current order book. Uh, here's our inside. Let me zoom in a little bit. Uh, here's our inside market right here. Uh, this red box is the best offer. The green box is the best bid. Okay, that's reflected here with these two dashed lines in the live market here, but this is all done graphically. 
Okay, this is all done here as the, I have it formatted in the COB column uh, numerically, as you can you can see. Uh, but um, this is graphically, right? So these 1,350 contracts here are showing up here as a you know pretty pretty white uh, line uh, uh, because it's pretty high liquidity compared to the other areas, right? All right. Um, how do you get these boxes? Um, they should be there. Uh, I don't know what uh, version you're you're using, uh, Homera. And which box is the best bid and offer here? Uh, they should be there by default. And that's been uh, around for a while now. Uh, they should be there, uh, Homera. And, you know, we can check here. Uh, under some settings or configurations, yeah. Check check the configurations here, uh, and then uh, right click and format. Uh, no, I don't I don't see it there. Set the depth. No, that's not it. Um, okay. Well, uh, yeah. I'm not sure uh, why they don't show up, but uh, uh, anyway, uh, John, let me uh, let me get to your uh, your question, and uh, we'll uh, finish up with it here. Um, the um, uh, the rest of these areas here uh, is just, uh, you know, traders wanting to trade here on the bid. I'm sorry, on the offer up here, okay, above the best offer. Uh, so this is your level two data, and this is your level one data, your inside market. All right. Uh, and then here's the depth here on the uh, on the bid. Okay, so... Um, that's that's it. I mean, you can see I have another uh, current order book column here, but uh, I have it formatted differently. I have it formatted as a, uh, a, a histogram. Okay. So now I can read the uh, uh, liquidity here, these numeric values. I, I've given it a graphical representation. Okay, just like this is a graphical representation here. We know that this is the highest area in the current book, and we can we see that the numbers here reflects that, and we can see that this. Um, uh, this bar reflects that as well, uh, as as well as the heat map. All right, look at them starting to chase a little bit here. Okay, high liquidity pulled, added a higher level, uh, and then uh, pulled again, and then um, uh, added at a higher level here. And okay, they also pulled and added at a lower level. But uh, uh, anyway. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, John, any more questions on that? You can uh, format this column. You can split it out if you want. You can inverse the split. Uh, I've always kind of liked this view uh, so that uh, now I can kind of can read it like a traditional dome. Uh, you know, here's the, uh, the bid side on the left and the offer on the right. Okay, all right, you're good. Okay. All right. Well, let's take a look and go through our process again. Okay, we can see them on the bid uh, between 24, uh, 25 uh, and uh, 25 and a half on the offer. Uh, I'm not seeing high liquidity here in this uh, configuration at the moment. I would say maybe this 27 and a half area here. Okay. Uh, how are they behaving? Well, we just read the uh, aggressiveness here. Uh, although price didn't come down to test these guys yet, uh, but they are getting aggressive. Okay, uh, and uh, uh, we already read the microstructure here, uh, and then um, the transactions. So let's read the tape here. So what's going on? All right. Well, uh, you know, we saw the the continuation and more volume trading at these higher highs here. But a little more microstructurally, we have a little little different picture here. Okay, uh, we we can see that uh, we did not come back up uh, into the uh, the higher area here. Okay, uh, and um, now we're we're starting to note uh, these guys are starting to pull uh, that high liquidity that uh, was being aggressive just a moment ago. All right. Uh, Transaction-wise, I, I really don't see um, any anything in the order flow um, that is uh, giving me uh, some insight. 
uh, I guess one thing I I would uh, start to notice uh, is, and let me edit this here so we can get rid of some of this. Okay, is the um, uh, there's you know uh, the aggressive buying uh, and more green dots, higher highs, etc. Uh, but uh, here we start to note here um, on these pullbacks, uh, you know, it's important to note how they're behaving here. Uh, in these areas, okay? And uh, if we see uh, a lot of sellers uh, starting to uh, uh, show up, okay? And uh, they're starting to, a little bit here, okay? A little bit here. Um, the uh, Usually what we see, uh, especially in an aggressive trend, is uh, very little. You get these little points of exhaustion. Uh, there's no sellers. Uh, and then price will rotate back up and trade uh, into the uh, the high volume area. Okay, uh, and um, uh, that's what uh, we, we usually uh, usually see. Okay, we start to see that shift in that order flow once uh, you start to see these clusters take place uh, on the uh, on the pullbacks. Right, and then you what you start to notice is structure starts to break, the structure will start to break. So, for example, uh, you know the, the structure for this uh, aggressive move uh, will be here. Uh, if we can break below the 24 and a half area, okay. So I'm seeing aggressive sellers starting to come in here, right? Uh, so maybe uh, maybe we'll get that uh, that push down now uh, into that uh, that 24 and a half area, All right? So starting to starting to put the you know the transactions together, uh, noticing the behavior here, noticing how they pulled in this area here of that high liquidity. So uh, they did not have the intent to trade, right? Uh, so gaining some insight here. Uh, it's not the it's not the best. It's not the clearest. Uh, we've seen much clearer examples before, uh, but uh, you can you guys can uh, start to uh, uh, understand this. Uh, uh, you know, maybe maybe uh, seeing a potential shift here in the order flow. Okay, microstructurally, uh, yeah, we we have broken it. This this little zipper here, or uh, I don't want to call it a zipper, uh, but this little con consolidation down here, uh, and this swing, we not only broke below it, we're we're accepting volume down here below it. Okay, so this would be more for you know you guys looking for a scalping a, a tick or two, uh, but uh, all all of these moves, the bigger moves, uh, uh, usually start off with uh, this kind of direction. Okay, so if you are bearish up in these areas, uh, then this would be, uh, you know, an area you, you might be interested in. All right. Okay. So you see Thomas uh, lays beta version a few times. Notice when you put in a limit order, it fills as a market order. No, it should that shouldn't happen. Um, hmm. Not sure. Um, what to tell you? It, it, I mean, if it comes down and hits your, your, your limit order, uh, you know, you're going to be in the queue, of course, uh, but, uh, it, um, uh, will need to, uh, uh, you know, trade, trade into it and then, uh, uh, you know, get, get to it in the queue. Okay, yeah, oh, Brian, uh, excellent point. Okay, Judy, this is for you uh, as well. Uh, you, you guys want to look into the uh, recorded data and historical data? All right, well, I'm going to lose my data here, uh, and um, uh, you know, we won't be able to see if we get that follow-through to the downside here uh, or not, but uh, that's fine. Um, the um, uh, John, quick uh, answer to your question. The volume dots, I am using just the default here. I can click on uh, studies configuration, volume dots, uh, and then I just click on restore here, All right? And I do that on purpose so, so you guys uh, are looking at most likely the same thing I am, all right? Uh, there are all sorts of studies here, and, uh, I, you know, it would take some time to, to go through. Uh, if you have questions about it, happy to answer. Uh, but, uh, you know, you can, you can really uh, get into uh, uh, different uh, configurations of, these, of the volume here, all right? Uh, really, really uh, powerful uh, filters. Uh, real, real nice stuff. Uh, anyway, uh, let's uh, 
uh, we'll stop the live session here and let me show you the replay mode and how to access that. Okay. Just a minute here. It's having taking a while to close. Okay. All right. So let's open up Bookmap. Okay. Interesting. Okay. So I, I, we had drawn this in the beginning of the uh, session here. But I forgot about it. Uh, our higher time frame on the ES as well. So we just came up and uh, and, and came through that. So uh, you know. Uh, integrating that higher time frame uh, in into the order flow that we were just looking at and seeing if we're going to get that continuation now to the downside right so higher time frame hit microstructure was telling us something uh, and then uh, and then we're looking for maybe that uh, uh, the order flow uh, to continue to the downside here okay same process uh, that we've been covering Okay, open up book map. Uh, this is for Ninja Traders as well, uh, and um, uh, click on just use the D, uh, the the uh, uh, desktop icon to click on. Uh, then we'll choose uh, from the Run Options window here. Record our replay data here. All right now, if you want to get your replay data first, you'll need to re uh, record it. This is where you record it here with this box in the run options. So when you are looking at your live data here, uh, you know, either either way, uh, if it's uh, in simulated by bookmap or with your real account, uh, if it's with your real account, you can also record your orders, not only your live data. Okay, so you can record your trading, which is a really nice feature to see in replay mode uh, and really uh, debrief uh, your trading in detail. So record your data. Let's click on replay data. Let's click OK. And then it's asking me here to uh, select a, f a feed. So we'll click on the feed uh, button up here. And, uh, and here it, it brings the window up and uh, I've modified it by date. Here's my feed right here. Open it up. And there you go. Okay, so here are all my markets that I had open, uh, and um, here's my ES that we were looking at. Okay, now you can see this is the uh, play line right here, uh, and uh, I can zoom forward. It's it's loading here with the uh, the gray uh, that you can see advancing, right? But uh, we can click on this, and you can see that uh, the blue line shows me the the area I am exactly. And if you hover over that area, you can see it here, uh, the time, right? You can also see the time here uh, over in this little window here, okay? In fact, you can input, um, you know, the exact time that you want uh, as well. So that's, that's how you can really get precise. If you, if you guys are uh, debriefing your, uh, your algo trading, uh, we'll just click on pause and, you know, you can, you can, you can even put in the, uh, the, the microsecond here. Uh, so, uh, uh, you know, we want to look at uh, 100 or something, or, um, oops, let me uh, try that again. Yeah, so, no, it looks like just, just by seconds, I'm sorry. Okay. All right. Uh, anyway, uh, that is that. Now, um, that's how you can get up and running in this replay mode. Now let me show you uh, one of the nice practical uses of it. Okay, is the the play the playing here? Uh, let's let's uh, go back to resume, uh, and then uh, we're going to speed this up. Okay, so now I'm looking at 16 times market speed. I can go and continue on up 128 times the market speed, uh, etc. Okay. This will allow me to really understand this uh, activity here uh, and phenomena uh, very quickly. Instead of us, you know, waiting for uh, something to happen there like we were in the S&P, uh, we'd be able to see it within, um, you know, a few seconds, right? Okay, here's that phenomena. Look at the phenomena right here, 
right? Breakout, okay? And uh, and and this is a this is a rejection of it here. This is what that rejection looks like, okay? Because uh, we did not come back and test where we broke from. In fact, we got the opposite. We broke down, uh, and then we retested back to where we broke down from. Okay, this would be trap volume here. Where would those guys cover? Probably down here, maybe down here. Interestingly enough, look at where these guys put their targets in at 24.18, when right before this, uh, yeah, right after this little breakout happened. All right. So you can start to put these pieces together, right? Uh, and I, I'm just, you know, looking at it on the fly here. I didn't, uh, I didn't look at this earlier. Uh, and um, uh, so we did make it down below the swing here, uh, and you can see a gr nice little grab of liquidity right before the 9:30 open, just like that. All right. Any questions, Judy, uh, or um, uh, John, uh, about that? about this replay mode? Oh, I'm sorry, it was Thomas here. Uh, no, it wasn't, it was Brian, I'm sorry. Okay, there we go, I'm getting it straight. I'm a little off today. Um, let's see, uh, there's another question from John. What platform am I connected to? NT, OEC, no, uh, Rhythmic. Um, I, it's not, uh, we are the platform, okay? We're just like, uh, you know, Ninja Trader or TradeStation or think or swim, we are a platform, right? So you will be um, connecting your uh, data feed just like you would with them. Uh, you'll just be using it for bookmap though, all right? Can I minimize or change the time of the replay with plus or minus arrows at the top? Uh, well, the plus or minus arrows. Um, you, you, the replay mode functions almost like the live, you know, like the live market. I, I can zoom in, I can zoom out. Uh, you can you can uh, add studies. Uh, you can you can reset your data here. Uh, you know, uh, you, you can you can do uh, all so, you can do just basically everything here uh, in Bookmap uh, and uh, in in this replay mode. It's a, it's a very very powerful feature uh, and. Um, uh, yeah, you can add, uh, you know, uh, all sorts of, uh, of studies, your volume studies uh, as well. They all work uh, in replay mode. Uh, you know, let's look at uh, volume uh, dots here, and we'll look at uh, 5,000 contracts per dot, right? And there you go. Every dot here represents 5,000 contracts in the ES, which is pretty incredible. Uh, but uh, uh, anyway, that's that. Um, the, um, let's see here. Oh no, it's not fixed at all, uh, Judy. Uh, y you can, you can do whatever you want here. Uh, uh, you know, there's, uh, very few limitations in this replay mode. All the data is there. So, you know, uh, we, we just, we have it all recorded. Uh, so you can, you can apply all the different studies that you want to it. Uh, how can you get the ZB? Um, Homera, I think you're using Rhythmic as well. Um, well, just uh, input, uh, you know, ZB um, as your uh, your symbol. Okay. So uh, uh, if you, <laughs> well, this these are the, the markets that I recorded here. Okay. I can't add something that's not, that hasn't been recorded. Uh, maybe that, uh, hope that answers your question. Okay, uh, let's see here. A few more questions, and then we got to we got to wrap it up here. Okay, hold on. Numbers and bars were superimposed. Not sure what you mean, Homera. Um, So uh, let's see. Let's see, Brian, in the live data. Um, only data since Bookmap is open. Yes, that's correct. Since when I opened up Bookmap is only is only what's going to show. That is correct. Uh, 
Oh yeah, uh, Judy, this is how this is exactly how I learned uh, uh, order flow and bookmap uh, is by hitting this replay mode over and over and over again and starting to understand the behavior uh, of the uh, uh, traders in the limit order book and where the transactions are taking place. Uh, the ZB contract, so um, Homer, if you're using uh, uh, Rhythmic, I, I believe it's just ZBU7. Um, okay, the September contract uh, from the CME. No, I'm sorry, is it? Is, uh, yeah, it, maybe it's not the... Is, uh, Uh, maybe it's not the CME, CBOT, that's correct, yeah, that's right. And it doesn't show for you? Maybe uh, maybe uh, call your uh, data provider uh, or broker to see if uh, uh, they, they're uh, not allowing it. Can you trade from the bookmap chart? Brian, not only can you trade from the bookmap chart with the, you need the add-on features, but you can also trade in this environment here right, in the uh, replay mode environment, okay? So uh, you can um, uh, add, uh, you know, all, whatever it is you want. You, you know, you get your bracketed orders, your, your OCO orders. Uh, you can start to set, you know, I'm setting uh, limit buys down here, uh, my limit sells up here, uh, etc. So, you know, uh, this is a great way once you understand the phenomena, uh, you can test it with your trading, okay? All right, guys, let's call it a day, uh, and uh, we will um, uh, – notifications, any notifications? I'm not sure what you mean, Brian. Um, uh, uh, price alerts. Uh, not sure on that one. And um, uh, Yeah, no, no, actually, they should work. Um, so uh, if you put it in the, into a um, – uh, if you right click here and you uh, insert a new column uh, and then we uh, will turn this into a notes column right uh, and then you click on a note here uh, you should be able to put in a notification uh, to enable it uh, anyway give it a try Brian I don't think I've done that before uh, but um, uh, it should work for you uh, I believe okay yeah and uh, I'll, I'll test this as soon as uh, uh, we're uh, we're finished here uh, we can see we finished the the file going at 100. See, look, I mean, just in a few minutes, we've covered uh, here uh, the entire session uh, that we went through, okay, in Bookmap, right? So we saw it in minutes compared to an hour. All right. Okay, just curious. I have to look back at uh, uh, what happened here. Uh, all right. Well, we came back down and tested this uh, 24 even uh, figure here. Uh, so we did see a little continuation there uh, from the sell-off at, at our higher time frame. And, we, and we're, we were noting that, right? We were noting that shift in the order flow, okay, uh, at, at some of those areas. Okay, so uh, it's not much of a move, but uh, we, did, we did start to see some of that. Okay, wasn't the, wasn't the, the clearest, but, uh, uh, you know, it was noted. Uh, anyway, guys, let's call it a day uh, and uh, good session. Uh, thanks for all the questions and uh, we will catch up with you tomorrow. All right, you're welcome. Okay, thanks guys, bye-bye.